Hello friends, welcome to our Chanel 3D world, making the world creative. Today, we are going to start our new topic in Katya, that is part design. This is the second topic. First, we know how to open part design. For opening part design, first to go to a start menu. Click on machine design and then part design. If you want to change your name, then just change it. This geometric set and ordered geometric set, these both combine it together and name is set that is enable hybrid design. So if you click on enable hybrid design, then the both these features they are added in A. And just click on OK. Here your part window where open part design window will open. This is the first way to open part design. Another way also by which can open part design. Okay. Let's see. For second way, you go to file, click on new, and here you can search for part or simply search here. Part okay. Or just going to that point. This is the second and second way. The second of second way. Search for part. Just click on OK. You never have a design. OK. If you want to change the name, then you can change the name from here also. Just click on properties. Yes, you can change the name from here. Just like silver. Let's change your name. Okay. After opening part design, we are going to study how to draw any machine parts. Here we are going to design any machine part. For designing machine part, first we have select plane. You can select plane from here or from here. This is the XY plane. This is the ZX plane. This is the YZ plane. If I confirm from that which is the, this, which is the XY plane, then you can simply go here. Just click on it and after that you click on the a sketch. Where you have to draw. So first we have to click on X plane. Which plane? I want to draw. And after that click on a sketch. Here, now you are ready to design parts. In design, first thing we know about profile tools. This is a profile tool here. Many tools available. So this is a profile toolbar. This is the tools. This is the toolbars. This is the tools. In profile toolbar, first we know what profile. In it, any form of curve we are drawn. Just at any point you can draw it with dry curve. If you want to draw any curve with a tangent arc, then first draw the point, then after go to this position here, tangent arc, and give the radius. Here, right. If you want to keep if you want to give it curve with three point arc then first click on profile give any curve then just click on this here you will see three point arc just clicking on it and keep first radius first point and the second point just draw the three point arc first second third first to this point second at that point you given and third the last part okay this is the three point arc if you want to exist from any tools which you selected they say for i have selected profile tool and i want to exist it then just click double click on escape button one two double click on escape button will exist you from any profile tools you selected now another is a rectangle here you have to select a point 
from where rectangle started give the length and breadth automatically sorry I will show you another video first we have given point after that give the length breadth here you are given the length this is the breadth and click this is a two point length where you have to select two points then the rectangle we are done this is a two point length two point rectangle another each oriented rectangle or in oriented rectangle you have to select three point for example this is our first point this is our second point this is our third point in a rectangle you have to select two point in oriented rectangle you have to select three point this is the parallel color Now we come to the point parallel graph. In parallel graph, you have to select three points. First is this point, second this, and third. This is a three point parallel graph. After the elongated hole, in elongated hole, first you have to select two points. First is this point, second is this point. And then you have to give the radius. What is that radius? And you have to give it this radius. Let's click it. Then this is the first point. This is the second point. This is the radius. This is the elongated hole. Another cylinder elongated hole. And here you have to give two point first radius arc. Then you have to give radius of cylinder I will tell you again of this each first you have to click on elongated sorry cylindrical elongated hole first you have give the point then arc radius then radius of cylinder here yeah, you have to run here yeah, the radius and then comes the keyhole profile in keyhole profile you have to select two point and two radius this is your first point this is your second point this is your first radius and this is your second radius again i am telling in keyhole point first you select two point first point is here second point is here then you have to give length first radius then second it is this is a keyhole another point in this is hexagonal you have to select a simple point and draw another is center rectangle in center rectangle you have to select only one point rectangle you have to select one point in each every length and breadth is equal or simply you can tell it is a square sorry it is not a square in it, till one point length here, length and breadth are tangency. If you change this, then effect on this breadth. So this is a one point rectangle known as center rectangle. This is center parallelogram which is not breaking. And I will check this center parallelogram. How can it be huge? I will escape this center parallelogram. Now moving to our next point that is circle. In circle, you have to select the point and give the radius diameter. Circle is ready. Now next point is three point circle. Here you have to give three point, one point, two point, three point. Is it? Three point circle. Next stage circle is in coordinate. Here you can give the coordinate. As in the horizontally it is 25, vertically 5, and it is 10. Okay. Yeah. This is vertical distance 25, horizontal 5, and it is 10. This is a coordinate circle. Now 
This is tri-tangent circle. Here you have to keep the three line, and it will say that it is possible to draw a circle from this three point. So firstly, we draw the three line. Okay, I will draw from profile. First line, double scale. Second line, double scale. And it is our third line. Now we go to the option try tangent circle. The easiest circle which is pass by touching this three point. Then we have to click on this three line. First one, second one, and third one. Yes, this is circle which is tangent to this three line. Three minus try tangent circle. After that, you come to the point try. 3.5 here to select 3.1st point, 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 point. your arcic ready now 3 point arc a starting bit limit here you have to give some limit to first second third yeah it teach of some limit and last one is arc. You have to select a point, then radius, and first point, and the arc edge. This is your arc. Now moving to next tools in profile tools, and that is a spline. Next plan. You can keep the point and I will If you want to close this display, just right click, right click and close this display. This will be close. Close this display. Remember, you have to click right click after making this display and click on close this display and close it as well. If you want to join this to curve, then the tools come here and it is you know, connect. Connect with joining to curve by giving the point of joining. Suppose this point and this point were joining, just click on it. Again, click on connect and click on this to point it will connect it to the curve. Now move to next point that is left. In left, you have to keep the point center, major axis. And minor axis. Now, the next point that is parabola focus. In you have to give firstly focus and apex, then first point and second point of extreme humidity. Then move to the next point that is and then second point. In the parabola, you have to give focus, then click on apex, then two point in. Hyperbola you have to give first focus, then center and apex, then two points, and also foci. Just in your board, first we have given focus and center apex, foci, we give foci, first point, second point, and hyperbola is petty. Now next stage, conic. In conic, you will draw in corner. First, we draw the first line. After that, we draw that point. Okay, conic to the then come to the line. First is the line. Click on the point and give the length and direction where you want to put it. Second one is infinity line. Just click on the point where you want to draw infinity line. Draw infinity line. After that, by tangent line. In here, you have to keep two. Okay. Don't worry. This is your first line. Mm -hmm. So sorry. This is your first cut. Now draw the second curve. Okay. 
and the lamp touching to then I want to draw a line which touches two points then select two points to draw a line that's it now next bisecting line if you want to draw a line here two line bisect and from that positive point you want to draw a line that is this first we draw two line bisecting here first one line second one line now we draw a line which is bisecting this two line just click on by selecting tools, first click on it, second click on it, and then draw. Another perpendicular. We draw a line. In perpendicular to a line. This is supposed to be a line. And I want to draw a perpendicular line from this. Then click on this line and get a number apart. We call it draw. Now, this is a line dotted line. This is a dotted line here. Okay, we will need to be and this line doesn't have any value. If you draw a line, it is a line, but in 3D, this line will not consider. This only helps in me, which helps in using my explanation. I will tell you. After that point, you can just click, click, point. Another one is coordinate point. Here I give the coordinate 45 default. Okay. Yes. Here a point that is 45 distance apart, 45 distance apart. Another one is equidistance point. If you want to draw so many points, is an equidistance point. Suppose you have to put here five points which is equidistance from each other. In this line, then I have to select first loop, equidistance, and click on this. Give number of points, there are five points. Okay, then five points will draw in this line, which is equidistance from each other. This is the equidistance point. Another thing, project. It is simply project. If you want to take production this from the point, very point. Click on it and just click here and then point where the which is the sum of that point to be clearly shown thread yes absolutely first thing in the right point here your point again I'm going to take the projection this point then go to the projection point click on it and just go to the clearly so here it is our point there is a point over the point. So we have to draw now. Okay. Now our profile tools. In our profile tools, we will discuss our profile tools. Now come to the next that is corner chamfer. Dream, mainly, and projection. These are not important to us. Yeah, this tools, user, user section filter, and not easy need. So I am skipping this. It. Now we study what is corner. Corner means to give corner. Suppose we have two lines, and I want to give a corner to this two lines. I just click on corner. Select the two points, and if you want to assign the data here, you can give this one. I want to call five letters from these two points, and just put it as a fine. Here, on I give five letters. Chain frame. If you so put it to chain frame, just click on these two points. First click on chamfer, then click these two points. You select the length, what is our length? You want to put a length from here, so what the length is 25. And I give the default, you have to change also your length. 
Escape from this, then double click. The skip another one is mirror. Mirror is nothing but copying these things on other parts. Suppose we have to draw this one. Now, if you want to jump to this side, then just simply dry run how we are taking the ring. And I want this two things to mirror to these two points then first select these two point for selecting too many lines first click click on control just select which you want to select suppose I click on control this is the first line this is the second line okay then click on mirror and click on the line where you want to mirror suppose these two lines mirror to this then just click on it it will become sorry i'll show you suppose you will draw a circle in the point of projection then click on the projection 3d this is the 3d effect so you can see the materials which are going to use in the 2d design Another thing I will tell you that I want to assign the edges of this circle. Then just click on circle and click here on custom tools. Here you can click the given diameter. You want to change it. Just change it. If you want some deletion, suppose I have tried a line, circle, and a line, and I want that. This line standing to this, then just click on this two surface. For example, this is a circle and this is a I want that this line standing to this. Then click on constant box here. We give relation to our profile. Okay, it is horizontal, it is vertical, it is coincide, concentric, and then click on tendency. Come to tendency. If you have done two circles and you just want that the center of these two circles is same, then just click on these two circles, click on constant, then click on concentric. Why click on this to show it? The center of these two circles is same. If you want to, if you draw two circles and you want that okay, those two circles are coincide to each other. And just click on this two seconds, go to here and click on on side. And this two seconds will get on side, which will get your zone 3 If you try line, click and you want it to design in which you can just click on click on constant tools, click on horizontal, horizontal, and okay, it is gone. I am treating about the things. Opening the first copy, okay. Here, now you have to draw a line, okay. And you want that is in which and done. I click on click on the If you draw a line, you want that it is an vertical, then just click on it. Want that is two ends of parallel to each other. And just click on this two ends, go to constant view, click on parallel. This is a little bit. This is a little bit of parallel. After that, two ends of parallel to 
this line to this line this is perpendicular this is the news click we have one to put here this is the one to put here click on okay I'm going to draw another line but this is already parallel click here this two lines are perpendicular to each other I'm just click on these two lines and click on perpendicular these two lines are perpendicular to each other uh, in a cardiac setting, you always disable this. This is if you have to think that if you draw a point, then it will start from the vertex here, here, not start from the middle. So, switch off this, and this is you're gonna start from anywhere. If you want to make this kind of a heavy I will tell you that. Only help you to be mirrored. I just click on this line, and click on this, it will become this line, and it will be like in 3 to the that's it. It is things which are required in 2 Next, you move to padding now. Next lecture, you see, press it and on of these tools. If you have any problem, then comment me. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for watching.